But this one here, the Durbin Watson test statistic, what that means is if this number is not between 1.5 and 2.5, and is not, it's just outside of 1.5, that means you violated the assumption of autocorrelation. So autocorrelation is a lot like multicollinearity. In other words, two of the IVs are too strongly correlated with each other. You, like one is acting as a parallel or a shadow or as, as a mirror to another variable, and that's, that could cause trouble in the calculations. But watch, I, I think I found a trick to fix that. I think all we have to do is put the data in a different order. So I'm going to pick avoidance, and I'm just going to put that in a sort ascending. Sometimes it works the first time. Other times, just try every variable. Put it either in descending or ascending order, and then rerun the test. And what I found is, is every once in a while, and that'll fix your autocorrelation Durbin-Watson number. So let's go ahead and rerun those again. Analyze regression linear and everything else should be the same bam so we're going to get a new output again we want to look at that auto correlation number we want it between 1.5 and 2.5 there it is right next to two right where it's supposed to be so the assumption of auto correlation is not violated thanks to some shifting of the variables around so 